What's up, my upper echelonians? We got the best fight and the best coming up this year. This has been a great year for boxing. But first, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can continue getting this hot heat that I drop every day for you. Every day I'm dropping this heat. And hit the notification so when I go live, you'll be notified. But this is the best fight of the best. We got Jamel Charlo. Going up two weight classes, chasing greatness to fight Canelo Alvarez for his undisputed title. And Jamel Charlo has been calling Canelo out, so don't think it's a cherry pick. And Jamel Charlo can win this fight, so don't think it's a cherry pick. But we gonna get into that. First, I'm gonna let y'all hear how Charlo called him out. Ellie Hearn, make the fight. This is a fair use video. It's for education and entertainment purposes only. Don't, don't, don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. I just let y'all see. When I go there, y'all go there. Say, say, man. Why they don't make Canelo fight undisputed? C t tag Eddie Hearn. Undisputed versus undisputed. Fuck it. I want 50. I gain a little weight. Yeah. Kev, I, I got you, Kev. Kev. Telling me about Canelo. Canelo. Yeah, Canelo. Not Eli and Kobe. Canelo. 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 Like, nigga, don't fuck with me, nigga. Like, for real, let me show y'all what it is. Why y'all don't make Canelo versus Charlo? Fuck y'all talking about, nigga. Somebody put that shit together. Little Charlo will fight anybody. Nigga, I ain't never duck no smoke, nigga. E. Mm hmm. Undisputed versus undisputed. That could be a big thing in boxing. It's a lie? You're a lie, man. Yeah. Come talk yeah. some shit. He said, Coach, get on there. <laughs> get on there, chill. Oh, yeah, my nigga lied. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Sitting in the backyard. Big Coach Guzman. <laughs> we out here chilling, man. Just thinking about some shit. Fuck it, nigga. That bitch can't beat me with that shit. His last performance, that bitch can't beat me. Yo. That's all I want in life. I just want to show a little bit of y'all that I, I do exist. <laughs> exist. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Can Ellie Hearn, go put that Charlo shit together. The other Charlo gonna get him. I don't give a fuck. I already accomplished it all. Shit, that hand get right, nigga. They knock him out and come back and knock the other motherfucker out, cause that's all the way I won. I'm only dusting cause what I did. You feel me? I won. Hold on, little bitch. What up, nigga? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I don't know why. I mean, I heard Danny Garcia fighting us like he lied. I'm for the win. I'm for the win only in best this year. I've been promoted. <laughs> Big time. What you do? God damn. I'm cooking up some sauce over here. I'm strong as fuck. I train every day. Don't stop playing with me. Yeah. Tell that hater keep hating. I'm here. H Town, Texas. Hey, this how the H Town look. Yeah, this is how the H-Town look. Oh, yeah. Looking good over here in H-Town. Hanging out by the pool. Hitting the dog's whistle. Big Dover. Gonna get bit. All the belts. I see you, Kev. Yeah. And I've been holding it down for the Charlotte. Y'all know what it is. Let me get off. When you spar against the best every time for all these years, Canelo who? Charlo's been getting the best sparring ever in the best gym ever with the best coach ever. Canelo is going down. And Charlo, two times undisputed, they're going to have to put him on the pound for pound list after this one.
tight, 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 tight. Bring him everybody, bring him back up, everybody bring him back up. Hold it up. More those, more those. More, more jabs, more jabs. Just make sure you keep it tight on the inside. People don't realize that Canelo Alvarez and Jamel Charlo was in the 154 division together. Both Charlos was calling for that fight. It seemed that Floyd Mayweather passed the torch down to Canelo Alvarez as the face of boxing. Everybody wanted that Canelo Alvarez payday. But before we get into that, if you haven't, make sure you hit that like, that share, and that subscribe button. And turn your notifications on so you can get notified every time I go live. I appreciate each and every one of you. Peace and blessings. But back into this fire jamel charlo is six feet tall while canelo is five eight with a 74 inch reach Boval had a 73 inch reach and he was able to confound confuse and befuddle canelo alvarez with his jab jamel charlo has a harder stiffer jab than Bival. jamel charlo hits like a truck with both hands and he doesn't gas Derrick James makes sure they have the best win available in that gym right there. They training in that heat, plus he's getting great sparring from Earl Spence and other light and heavyweights. They getting light heavyweights, heavyweights, and middleweight sparring. So Jamil Charlo should be used to the power of Canelo. Plus Jamil Charlo is bulking up real nicely, but he's not going to go all the way to 168 because they still want to utilize his speed and his ability. Canelo has been falling off lately. And he doesn't take boxing as seriously as he used to. So, Jamel Charlo's in that gym training because he knows this is his moment. This is his chance to shine. This is where he gets his respect. You're going to put some respect on my name, says Jamel Charlo. All these times he's been disrespected by the Mike, by Mike Coppinger and these other ESPN writers. The only undisputed man that they ain't putting on the pound for pound list. And he cleared out his whole division. And they say his division was weak. No. Usyk in that cruiserweight division was weak. Jamel Charlo had killers in that division. And he went through adversity and he came out shining like a diamond. Yes, each fight he has grown as a fighter. He has gotten better as a fighter. He has evolved as a fighter. And he's only getting better. He's at his peak right now. He's running 180 miles an hour down I-85. And he ain't breaking or turning. He going straight forward. And Canelo Alvarez, he's in the slow lane. He got his hazard lights on. And he's ready to get ran the poop over. Yeah, I'm trying to limit the cussing now. But yeah, he's about to get ran over. And Canelo knows what it is. But Canelo don't care because he signed the PBC and Al Heyman for his retirement party. He signed for $100 million three fights. He figured he could get in there for three times, get $100 million plus the pay-per-view proceeds. But... Jamel Charlo and Canelo, they do over a million pay-per-view. They do it over a million pay-per-view. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford should do over a million. Javante and Ryan did over a million. But Canelo and Caleb Plant did 800,000. Now he's finally fighting a slick, skilled African fighter, African-American fighter like Jamel Charlo. This is the first time he's done fought a skilled black fighter since Floyd Mayweather. People say Danny Jacobs, but Danny Jacobs was washed up. And I'm going to tell you like this. People that saying Canelo going to beat Jamal all, Jamil all like that. Y'all remember his last four fights. Canelo gassed out. He gassed out with Triple G, Baval, um, Ryder. He was gassed out in the Caleb Plant fight, but he caught him in the late rounds. But you gas out against Jamel Charlo, you're going to get bunches and punches of punches. It's going to be tons of fun coming through with oodles of noodles or punches and bunches. And Jamil Charlo's going to work Canelo the same way Ryder did at the last half of the fight when he came back and he peppered up Canelo's face. Had him looking like a bruised turd. Had that nose looking like pepperoni on a slice of pizza. John Ryder was giving Canelo problems. And it was supposed to be a showcase fight in Guadalajara, Mexico. His first time back, a tailor-made opponent Pick the knockout and this man whooping your ass. Jamal Charlo gonna put that ass in the dirt. He ain't about to play with you. He wants his respect 
and you the only way he's gonna get it, so he's coming through you. First ever two-time undisputed man in the history of boxing. Get this man his flowers. This is Upper Echelon. Y'all hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I'm out of here.